bed here has been uh, forked. We added some um, more organic matter and uh, then went over it with the cultivator. And then it's been raked smooth, de-rocked, and the seed bed's not too bad on there. I think we'll put carrots. Um, this is the next bed that uh, we're doing. This is what it looks like after broad forking. And the broad forking process is a very interesting one. These beds have been tilled with a mechanical tiller that would reach down about maybe six to eight inches, something like that, not too deep. So the broad fork goes down 18 inches. So a tiller will take the top eight inches and just pulverize it. Any sort of um, organism in there, um, whether it's fungal or microbial or whatever, just goes tumbling around and they get all mixed up. So I'm running by the theory that less is more when tilling soil. You got the upper root area, the lower root area, and it's possible that, um, you know, this is my theory, right? I approach gardening through a scientific process where I observe and then I develop a theory and I do research and then I do practice, execution, investigation, um, and then and apply it to practice for several years and then sort of come up with a, with a conclusion as to whether the broad fork was beneficial or not. So this is the first year. Carrots in our garden had never grown taller than that carrot. My first year with the forged through time broad fork. So this was from the end of the bed where I didn't quite get. And this is from the middle of the bed that got a good wholesome breaking up. As you can see, the broad fork technique really opens up down below. Before I was using a uh, power tiller and going back and forth and it only went down about six inches which is about six four inches I mean, it's near the edge so yeah but um, threw it with the broad fork once and make the seed bed and the roots are penetrating deeper also it was a very favorable year with rain but I'm sure if it wasn't for the broad fork they'd all look like that so yeah broad fork seems to work in that regard for carrots Why, hello. Um, we've got a broad fork that's come in for uh, guarantee work. Uh, he's agreed that his man there was working it a little hard and his soil was a little rocky. He was honest of him. So there was a big rock here and he was really reaming on it. And this one bent. And then, not only that, if you come up here and look at the handles, you can see there, um, this, this close one has been bent down a little bit. This is when the, uh, the youngins don't know their own strength. customer coming in so I need to let you know that um, that we have a situation the tines are breaking off 
And this is the fault of the welder. Allow me to explain. So this appears to be the brake. It looks like it's been broken off a long time ago. It's um, pretty well rusted. Um, so this is an indicator that the customer didn't bring it to me in a timely manner. I like to know when things like this happen so I can address them right away. And that's one of the advantages of sourcing things locally made. If you have a problem with your product, you can just simply go back to the fabricator and get it repaired. So this is an issue with the fabrication. I cut corners. I didn't bevel the ends of the tines before welding it on. There are things that I could have done, um, but, um, but it's like a science experiment. You see what works. This obviously didn't work. We can change the ways the product can evolve over time, which is another advantage of going to your local manufacturer for things like that. So if you're having problems with your broad fork, um, feel free to give me a call. I'm here to fix them. While it was my intention to focus on promoting the Forge 2 Time products at local markets and advancing the online presence with regular videos and updates, this past summer there were some unfortunate family issues that drew my attention from this task. My apologies if you were looking for me at the Merville Hall market and wondering where I had gone. Uh, this is why. So you just learned a bit about the results from using the Forge Through Time Broad Fork on my garden beds and you learned a bit about our warranty policy concerning uh, the craftsmanship. If you bought and used one of these broad forks back in 2019, I'd like to hear from you and add the information to the knowledge base so that we can all benefit from your experiences. I would like to announce that pre-order sales are now open and you can find more information on our website. Just go to forgethroughtime.com or your internet browser. Here at the top, and click on Metalworks and you can read a little bit more about what we do this will be updating soon um, and down here in the seasonal pre-order section you can click on broad forks this brings you to a little page with a bit more information I would like to add some uh, product reviews if anybody who bought one would like to um, send me one that would be great now to order you just click on the broad fork information order form this gives you a, a printout which you can decide which broad fork you'd like you customizations is no problem and it's um, uh, no extra cost if you want uh, an extra time it's it's not a big deal if you want longer times shorter times it depends on your terrain um, there's a huge variance of, of soils around here different lengths of tines and whatnot so you can just put in your customizations um, put in a, a, a number one if you want one heavy one light so once the orders have been received, um, they're added to this uh, counter right here, um, the date that it comes in. Oh, try before you buy. If you want to take one of these for a test run to see how it works, uh, you can decide what size. I have a few here that I'm willing to loan out for testing purposes. Another alternative for ordering a broad fork is to just give me a call. The contact number is right there um, on my on the front page. All right, thanks a lot.